Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be super fun because I think I'm doing my like first ever book related tag. One of my favorite YouTubers actually did this tag and her name is Noelle. If you guys haven't followed her, that'd be insane because she's one of my favorites. She's a book YouTuber. I'm sure you guys know her uh, just by me saying her name. I'm actually wearing her Anna Luisa necklace. Um, but anyways, I'm going to be doing the book mid-year book freakout tag and yeah, I am so excited. I'm just gonna jump into it. So before we get into this mid-year book freakout tag, I do wanna kinda say like my book goals for this year. So my book goal, uh, reading goal was 75 books. And as of June 19th, I have read 72. So I'm almost done with my book goal, which is insane. It's far more than I expected to be like 96% done with my goal. But anyways, um, that is my that's how many books I've read, so that's kind of the range that I'm going off of. First question was my favorite book that I've read so far this year. Say making this like making this down to one book was so hard because I easily rate books five stars. If you guys follow my Goodreads or Storygraph, I'm I'm an easy reader, and honestly, if I love a book, I'm gonna read it five stars. So for me, I gotta say Throne of Glass has been the best reading experience I've had so far this year. I actually just finished this recently this month and my favorite book is Empire of Storms. Like if I had to narrow it down to one specific book I would say Empire of Storms. That book it had everything. It had mystery, fighting, romance, angst. I loved it so much and you guys have to read this series if you haven't. I actually have a reading vlog that I'll put up here. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. I will say don't watch it if you haven't read the series though because there is a lot of spoilers. So the second question is the best book sequel you've read this year and I have to say Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. This is a sequel to It Happened One Summer. I actually own these on digital so I'll just put an image here. But Hook, Line, and Sinker Personally, I think it may have been better than the first book. I will say It Happened One Summer was easier for me to read, um, but I think that may have just been my setting because I read Hook, Line, and Seeker on a plane. I love the friends to lovers like plotline and I loved Fox and Hannah and I just thought it was so good. If you guys haven't read that duology, I would 100% recommend it. It is very good and it's perfect for the summer. We're in June, it's summer, go read it. So the next question is new release you haven't read yet but you want to and I think I have two for this and one is again by Tessa Bailey and that's her new novel called My Killer Vacation. I think that's what it's called. The plot line sounds super exciting. The cover looks super cool and I just, I really want to pick this up. I tried to go to Barnes and Noble and pick it up, but I could only find a few of her books and that wasn't one of them. I actually picked up uh, Tools for Engagement. I think that's the book that I picked up, but anyways, that's not part of the, the video. Um, but yeah, I really want to read this. And then the second book I have is, I don't know if it's a new release, but I've just been seeing it everywhere and I actually tried to look for it at Barnes and Noble, but didn't find it every summer after. It's a combination of Beach Read and then Love in Other Words, which I love both of those books. Like both of those are one of my favorites. So I really want to read that. I just can't find it and I don't want to buy it on Amazon. So if you have any recs on where to get it, let me know. The fourth question is the most anticipated release for the second half of 2022. And I have to say Colin Hoover's It Starts With Us. That book comes out in October, I'm pretty sure. I already have it on pre-order and I'm going to be reading that as soon as I can. It Ends With Us was my first Colleen Hoover book I ever read and I read that freshman year of college and it changed my life. I'm currently like trying to read all of the Colleen Hoover uh, books. I think I'm almost done. I'm doing pretty good. I'm trying to read at least one a month. So this month I read Regretting You, but that'll be in the June wrap up at the end of the month. But yeah, I'm so excited for that. I want to see Lily and Atlas and them together. I think it's going to be such a good book and also see the mother and daughter relationship. I think that'll be cool too. Fifth question, and I think this question is really fun, but that is the biggest disappointment of 2022. And I have, I have to say like this was kind of hard to pick, but also as soon as I saw this book on my Goodreads, I was like, yeah, it has to be that one. And that is How to Love Your Neighbor. I will say I didn't see this anywhere. It wasn't like hyped up on book talk i just went to barnes and noble looked at books that sounded interesting and picked this one up this one is basically an enemies to lovers romance where there's some renovations he's grumpy she just moved in she's sweet she wants to renovate but he wants to buy her house it's just like it's, it sounds 
so cute like something i would see on home renovation tv show you know so i was super excited for this but it just did not do what i thought it was going to do and so i mentioned tools for engagement earlier that kind of has the same plot and i do like tessa bailey's writing so hopefully she does it better but yeah i don't know i just didn't really necessarily like this one um yeah biggest disappointment next question is the biggest surprise and i have to say mia sheridan surprised me so much with archer's voice so this had kind of picked up tra traction i felt like i had seen it in everybody's um april wrap up i think that was a month that it got super pop popular and i was like oh my gosh where did this book come from and so i read it and oh my gosh i thought it was so amazing it was such a big surprise because i was like it can't be that good but when i read it i was sobbing like i was crying i my heart hurt and it was just an amazing book and this is not the last time i'll bring up archer's voice in this video because it was so good and I recommend it. And if you like her writing, read most of all of you because that's also really good. The next question is my favorite new author. This could be debut or just a new author to me. And I have to say this isn't a new author to me. And I know that's probably not what the question is wanting, but I feel like I, I, I had an experience with this author last year and it was just one time and I didn't like her but when I started reading her books this year it was like whoa I'm going to read anything this woman writes and that is Sally Rooney so these are all the books that I read by her this year I just read the scripts um, I read Beautiful World Where Are You Mr. Salary and then Conversations with Friends I don't know what it was with normal people when I read it last July, but I just, I don't think I was in the right headspace to read it or something like that. I didn't understand the writing, but wow, she has amazed me. I hope this counts towards the tag. If it doesn't, I do have another author and that is Kale Walther. I don't know if I said that right. It's the author of Summer Broken Rules. That book is really good. I recently read that and if I had to pick like a new author that I've never read anything before, I think that would be the author I'd choose. It's not like I'm gonna go out and seek her writing though, if that makes sense. This one is really fun because it's new fictional crush and I love that question. I feel like it's such a hard thing to ask, but I think I had to say archer from archer's voice or any character from throne of glass literally um I, archer overall because he was just so sweet and i don't know if you, you guys have to read the book to just understand him he's like the sweet man child well he's not a child but like you you have to read it it's so sweet i really loved him and if i met him i would i would fall in love instantly but anyways that's that's my choice then the next one is newest favorite character and my newest favorite character is aelin from throne of glass um amazing girl boss slay you know okay next is a book that made you cry and i have two things for this i have archer's voice and then i have kingdom of ash so archer's voice made me cry i think three times and then kingdom of ash i cried one time and kind of teared up at the end kingdom kingdom of ash obviously because it was the last book in an eight book series and i was totally invested and i loved all the characters and it was a great ending and then archer's voice if you can't tell i'm just in love with the story and i think it's so good and it just made my heart hurt um but also it mended it so yeah the next one was a hard question for me to answer because it's the most beautiful book you've received or bought and i just i don't know i like all my book covers if i'm being honest it narrowed it down to this one and that is funny you should ask this is on my tbr i haven't actually read this yet but i just think the cover is so fun and friendly and flirty and cute it's very summery i really like it i, I think noelle actually said if you like the seven husbands of evelyn hugo to read this i hope that's correct i just really think this cover fits 13th and final question is what books do you need to read by the end of the year and i have so many that i can't answer this question i will be having a physical tbr coming out soon because i'm trying to get through my physical tbr before i buy any other books even though i really want to and i definitely have but um yeah that will be a book video coming out very shortly i'm gonna try to film that maybe today maybe later today i'll film that for you guys so i can get it uploaded as soon as possible don't be alarmed because it is going to be a lot of books 
but I will say I am reading two books right now and that is Three Women by Lisa Taddeo. Um, I've heard a lot about this book. Another cover I feel like has made it more popular in book talk. I'll insert that right there. But yeah, this is just a non-fictional account of three women's sexuality and I'm super excited to read this non-fiction essay style book. The other book I'm currently reading is Persuasion. I have to read this before the movie comes out with Dakota Johnson. I am obsessed with Dakota Johnson. If you didn't know, I got bangs last year to try to look like her. Spoiler, it didn't work. But anyways, she is starring as Anne and I just really want to read this and understand the movie better. And I love Jane Austen. Jane Austen is my favorite author, so I feel like it, I'm doing her a disservice if I haven't read Persuasion. So anyways, that's what I'm currently reading. I had so much fun filming this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys are watching this and you have YouTube channels, you should totally do this little tag. It's really fun trying to figure out what books I want to show you guys. But yeah, um, that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace and love. Bye guys.